I gotta put all this crap away. Hi guys, I know it's been a while. I've been missing in action, but I'm back and I have a huge beauty makeup haul for you guys. It's all from random places as usual. I'll probably just tell you the places as I go once I show you everything, but I've I've got a lot of stuff here, so we'll get started. Um, I'll probably do some swatches and stuff, too. First, I have some things from Rite Aid. I went to visit my family back where I used to live, about two hours away, and I stopped into Rite Aid and finally found some of the limited edition Wet n' Wild stuff. So I picked up this, what was this called, Wet n' Wild Color Icon Lush and Glow Trio in Sunset Junction. It just looks like this. And they they had all three of them there, but I just picked up this one. This is the only one I really liked. So I got that, and um, I'll show you some swatches here, because I know I like to see swatches. So. Just like that. Really pretty colors, really pigmented. I'm not sure about the bronzer shade, because it is a little orangey, but the highlight and the blush shade are, are beautiful. Um, and then I also found the Wet n' Wild... Color icon six pan. This one is in vinyl collection. And of course, they had all all the different ones of these two, but I just picked up one. I tried to contain myself. Um, we'll do a couple swatches of these two. They're nice and buttery. Like I, I always love um, wet and wild stuff. But there's a couple swatches there. Really pretty. So that's all I got at that Rite Aid. And then the Rite Aid by me. I went when they were having their, I think Wet n Wild was 40% off and then the Physicians Formula was buy one get one free and it was only on eye products and like concealer. So I picked up this mascara, the Organic Wear, and this is the Natural Origin Fake Out Mascara. So I think, I, I should have kept the packaging, but I think it's supposed to, you know, like give you volume and all that junk, but it looks like this. And I had also picked up an eyeliner, like a liquid eyeliner that was supposed to like do something for your lashes. I don't know, but I ended up returning that. And luckily I was able to exchange it and was able to get a face product, even though it was the buy one free, buy one get one free was for eye products and concealer only. Somehow it worked out. But I, I returned that eyeliner pencil thingy, liquid thing, I don't know what it was, but I didn't like it. But I exchanged it for this. Um, Ultra Nourishing Argan Oil Blush, and this is in natural. Looks like this. <laughs> Once you swirl it all together, it's like this really pretty pinkish. Like it's got some gold glitter in it too. It's like a really pale pink with like gold glitter. It's really pretty. So exchange that crappy liquid liner thing, whatever it was, for that. Got that instead. Anyway, for the 40% off the Wet n Wild products, I picked up another one of these Mega Length mascaras because I really like this. I first had gotten this to use on my bottom lashes because I heard that it was good for that because it didn't like smudge or anything. So I initially had gotten it for that, but then I also tried it on my top lashes and I really liked it. It really does give them length. So I picked up another one of those. And then I've also been wanting to try their new, um, I think this is still fairly new their Max Volume Mascara. So I went ahead and picked that up while it was 40% off. Then I also picked up some lipsticks. I picked up this one is in Barely Legal. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Shield lip colors. They look like this. It's just like this nudie like brown color. And I've been really into these colors lately. Like I really like it. It's like that. So that was cool. And then I picked up two of their new lipsticks that these are originally like 99 cents. So I got these for like 60 cents, which is awesome. Um, I picked up this one in cashmere. This is really cool, like brown frosty color. Like I said, I'm getting into like the browns and like the brown nudie colors. I don't know why I just really like them. But this one's really cool. It looks like this. And I heard that this was actually um, somewhat of a dupe for Re one of Rihanna's, I think it's Viva Glam 2 or something like that, MAC lipsticks. I'm sure you can Google it and you'll figure it out. Um, 
but yeah, it looks like pr really close to that. And for 99 cents, that's an awesome, awesome price for a, a, a Mac dupe. And then I also picked up this one in Hot Paris Pink, and it's like this really pretty, like, reddish pinky color. I like it a lot. And these lipsticks are fantastic for 99 cents and for 60 cents when, you know, they're 40% off. That one. Wet n Wild is just really awesome. I've I've loved them for a long time, and they're just getting better and better. I just I tell ya, Revlon was buy one get one half off, and I had some coupons for three dollars off of their photo ready eye products. So I picked up two of their five pan five pan palettes. This one is in Metropolitan. It's really pretty, like neutral, like natural colors. And then I also picked up this one in Pop Art. And that is everything from Rite Aid. Stopped into CVS because I saw they were having their annual clearance, like beauty clearance or whatever. So I picked up two of these Milani Power Lip gloss stains. They were 50% off. I picked up this one. It's in Macaroon. So this is like really pretty, like mauvey pink color. And these like twist up from the bottom and you want to do it slowly when you first start out because if you just keep cranking it and cranking it, all of a sudden it'll just come out and you can't stop it. So I would say go pretty slowly when, when you first open these. It's a really pretty color. Right here. And they're really pigmented too, so I'm excited to wear them and like see how long they last. And so this one is called Mango Tango. This one's really pretty too. It's like a pinky. I'm not going to explain the colors. I'll just show you. It looks more orange in the camera, but it's really like um, a corally reddish color. It's really pretty. I kind of want to go back and get the rest of these. I might. Don't judge me. <laughs> also, when I was in there, they had their paparazzi nail polishes for 99 cents again. So I just picked up two of them. This one is Kiss You Later. This really gorgeous hot pink color. I just love that for the summer. And I also picked up this one in Limousine Ride. <laughs> it's cute. But it's this really neon green. So I just really wanted some fun like summer colors for like my toes or my fingernails. Also from CVS, I picked these up. Um, I was hoping they were buy one get one free, but they weren't. But luckily I had checked my coupons and I had a coupon for five dollars off of fifteen any cosmetic purchase so I picked up two of the new I think these are limited edition the new um, rose blushes from Milani this one is in Awakening Rose and like these are pretty but they're kinda powdery it's like a nice natural color right in here I mean they're not bad they're, they're really pretty to look at, but I haven't played around with them on my face yet, so. And then this one is Blossom Time Rose, and this one's really pretty. Like, you probably won't even be able to see it in the camera, but it's got, like, a gold sheen to it. It's really gorgeous. Swatch this one. These ones are kind of hard to swatch because I don't want to mess up, like, the rose design, but, oh, well. These almost look kind of similar when you swatch them. But this one's a little more pink, and it's got, like I said, that gold sheen to it. So, there's that one there. They're really pretty, though. Next, I have some things from Walgreens. Finally found the Bell Collection. Like, I picked up two, two of the palettes because my friend Alicia had sent me, or she's going to be sending me, um, the beauty book and one of the smudge pots I believe so I'm not gonna do any of these swatches because I'll probably do a separate video on that collection if you guys are interested I picked up this palette it's got nine eyeshadows it just looks like this it's so beautiful and Beauty and the Beast is my favorite movie of all time favorite Disney movie I think I, I got almost everything in this collection but the colors just look like this they're really pretty and like I said I'll do swatches if I you know do a, a video on this collection I picked up also, the face palette, and this has a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer. It's really pretty. The outside looks like that. So it's a different um, picture than on this palette. 
They're both so gorgeous. <sighs> there are four lip balms in this collection. I only picked up two of them. I picked up the pink one, and this is in Strawberry Spell. And it has the Beauty and the Beast on there dancing. And this one smells really good. Like, I can actually smell it. It smells really good. And I was told that the lemon one, which is Luminous Lemon, and it's got Lumiere on it, Lumiere, whatever, however you want to say his name, Lumiere. But, and this is supposed to smell like lemon. I love lemon-scented things. But this, I can barely even smell it. And I'm so upset. Like, it just smells like wax. But anyway, it was cute. I wanted it, you know, because it's part of the Bell Collection, so I picked that one up. But also from Walgreens, I picked up three of these lip balms that are in, like, that dollar section that they have still hanging around. But these were actually 50, 50 cents each, I think. So I picked up the Sugar Frosting. I also picked up the Cake Pop one, which is really cute. I also picked up the Strawberry Cream one. I just thought those were really cute. And for 50 cents, why not, right? I was not able to find the limited edition Fergie palette. I'm so upset because apparently I had just missed it from the store that I went to. Because these were um, in the clearance section. They weren't marked down. But there was two of the purple ones left. So I picked up one of the purple ones. These are really pretty colors. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to at least find one of them so far. And then I also heard good things about this Jordana Fabuliner Liquid Eyeliner. So I just picked up that one. It's just black liquid liner. Next, I have some things from Ulta. I stopped in there today because... I was leaving work and I just happened to check my emails while I was in the car and I got an email saying that, you know, L'Oreal, NYX, Physicians Formula, and Neutrogena were all 40% off. So I was like, whoop, turn the car around, <laughs> went back to Ulta. Because I've been really wanting to try some of their new brow products because I'm always on the hunt for new brow products. So the ladies at Ulta recommended this color. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. and Apparently this is supposed to be kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil or whatever it's called. So I figured I'd try this one and especially for 40% off. And like I said, this is the color Espresso. And then I also got the Tame, NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the same color to kind of help, you know, like it shows, I guess, like sculpt them out or whatever. And I also picked up this, um... Illuminator by NYX. I'm not sure if this is new or not. I haven't seen this, but this is in Ritualistic. If I can get the box open, I will swatch it for you. Looks like this. Inside looks like this. This kind of looks white, but it's really pretty. See that? It's kind of like a like, it, it, sh it kind of shifts. Like, one way it looks like a yellowish gold, and then another way it's like a really pale, like, pink color. It's really, really pretty. So I was excited to try that. One last thing I got from Ulta. They're all NYX products. I just love NYX. So I picked up this lip liner in Nude Beige. And I thought this would go good with, like, the darker colors, like, the darker nudes that I've been picking up lately. You know, the color it shows. So I couldn't really, um test it, but, oh, it is, okay, it's exactly the color of the end, so that's good, it's like that, nice, like, brownie nude shade, so, glad I picked that up, and especially, like I said, 40% off, heck yeah, okay, next I have some things from Walmart, I found some flower beauty products in the clearance bin. I found five lip glosses and th these were each only a dollar fifty. I also found one lipstick. I'll show you that first. Looks like this. Really cute packaging. Um, it's called Tulips to Kiss You. Like tulips, like the flower. It's probably not gonna focus. Anyway. But um looks like this. The color looks like that. It is pretty basically a Barbie pink. It's really pretty. Picked up this one in LG5 hibiscus and it looks like this well, they're like pretty baby pink and I'll do a swatch they aren't like extremely pigmented but they do you know have pretty decent pigmentation right here next I picked up this one in LG6 pretty in petunia it's like this really pretty corally color 
and then we'll do a swatch. This one's really pretty. I like this one a lot. There. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it, but I gotta get better at these angles. <laughs> but there's that one. Next one is in LG4 Iris. I Iris, I could fly. This one is. The most pigmented out of these so far. Right there. This next one is LG12 Stop the Violets. This one has pretty good pigmentation too, actually. Ooh, right here. <laughs> okay, and then this last one is LG7 My Little Buttercup. And this one's really cool. It's like a brownie nude. Um, but it's got like gold flecks in it. I wonder if you guys will even be able to tell on camera. Probably not. Maybe a little bit. See that little shine in there. Anyway, I'll just watch it. But this one's a really cool color. I think this one is probably the sheerest out of all of them though, but you can build it up, like I said. And this would probably work best over top of something. like probably look really good over top of this wet and wild cashmere. I should try that. I think I will. Okay, here's a swatch of that. Right here. Okay, and then I also picked up this blush and bronzer duo by Flower Beauty. And this was, I think, only $3 when clearance. And this one is in Glow Baby Glow, I think it is. BD3. Remember? Looks like this. And these are like nice and like buttery. I'm excited to I haven't like worn these on my face yet, but I'm really excited to try those. So there they are. Next I picked up a couple of the new baby lips glosses. This one, I don't know if these have names. Yes, they do. This one is Taupe With Me. It's like the nudie nudie one. And these, I'll show you swatches, but they're pretty sheer. There's like almost no color to them. I think this one's the sheerest one of the two. Probably you won't even can barely see it right here. But. And then this one is in Life's a Peach. I just thought the packaging is so cute. Like, I just, I had to get a couple of them at least. I think this one is... This one is a little more pigmented, but still pretty sheer. It's really pretty, though, still. Then I picked up one of the new Maybelline Color Blur pencils. So I wanted to try them, so I didn't want to like go crazy and buy a ton of them. But this one is in Very Miscaved. This is really pretty, like, reddish-pinky color. I'm really bad at describing colors, so I'm going to show you and you guys can figure out what color you think it is. It's really pretty, and this is really pigmented too. Like, you barely even have to, like, press it onto your hand. There. Looks like that. A couple more things I picked up from Walmart aren't beauty related. Well, this kind of could be, I guess, but I found these, this three-pack of mini lighters, and I just thought they were so cute. I had to get them. Like, look at those. Aren't they adorable? So I figured, I mean, I don't smoke or anything, so I figured I could use these to light candles and stuff. I just, I couldn't pass them up. They're adorable. And then I also saw that they finally came out with the Fifty Shades of Grey as told by Christian. So it's like from his point of view. I thought that was really cool. I'm excited to read this. I'm still working on finishing the second book, but I think I might start this soon too because it's interesting, right? I'm just, I'm obsessed. I love the movie. I love the other books so far. The second one I loved. I really love the first one. So, I have high hopes for this. I have one thing from Burlington. I don't have one of these near me. So, when I was at home visiting, they have one there. So, I, you know, I had to stop in. But, I saw on Instagram that people were finding these. And I was so glad that I found one. It's the Cargo, Cargo Palette. And this is the Shanghai Nights palette. And this was only $12.99. And the sticker that was on it said, like, 
the suggested retail retail price was like thirty seven dollars or thirty nine dollars and then it said it was a ninety dollar value so I got this for thirteen bucks like that is awesome and I don't have anything else from cargo but I've heard good things about them but it looks like this Oop, and the brush just fell on the floor but anyway it looks like this the colors are really pretty I'll do a couple swatches here as I drop everything that's sitting in front of me um, we'll do this purple, this green, this blue here. Not the best swatches. I mean, they are more pigmented than that, but I just, you know, I'm bad at swatching. I'm excited to play around with that. So, you guys might even see a makeup look coming up with that soon because I definitely want to get into doing more makeup looks. Um, that is pretty much why I started my channel. I wanted to do makeup. I have a ton of it. I want to use it. I want to create makeup looks for you guys. If you're interested, I know you all, I think a lot of my subscribers subscribe to me because of my Dollar Tree hauls, and I will still do those. Don't worry. I love the Dollar Tree. I'm not leaving that behind, but I do really want to focus more on makeup looks and stuff like that, maybe reviews and stuff. So hopefully you guys will stick around. I really want to get back into doing YouTube. I know I took a little break from it. I just, there was a lot going on. I just felt like I needed a little break to get some stuff, you know, taken care of and everything. But I'm back, and uh, hopefully I will be on here more. Because like I said before, I did start a new job, so that's kind of why I have been a little MIA, because of my schedule and everything. So I missed you guys, though, and I missed filming, so I'm, I'm glad to be back. The rest of the stuff that I have, other than I have a few things from Dollar Tree I'm going to show you last, but I have some things that I purchased online, and I also have some stuff that Tina, and I'm so sorry that I haven't done a video on these sooner, but I really appreciate the stuff that you sent me. It was so sweet of you. You did not have to do that at all, and I, I, I sincerely appreciate it, Tina. You were so sweet on Instagram. I love, you know, commenting back and forth with you. Thank you so much again for these. Um, but she sent me the some of the new, I believe these are all new colors from um, LA Girl. They're the glazed lip paints. And these are so gorgeous. This one is in Whimsical. I'll do a swatch because reasons. Like these are so pigmented. I can't wait to like wear these. Like I don't even want to waste them doing swatches but I'll do it for you guys so that's that one's beautiful like pale pinky purplish color it's, it's so pretty um, this next one is peony 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 however you say it it's like this and this kind of looks a lot similar at least in the packaging to this next one which is called flirt and they're, they're this one's just a, a tad darker, if you can tell. But um, I'll swatch Peony first, or Peony, like I said, however you want to say it. So there's that one. That's Pe Peony. Peony. And then this next one is Flirt. And this one's just a tad lighter. But I would say they're still different enough that you need both. <laughs> Actually, it looks a lot lighter on camera, but in person, it's it's just just a tad lighter. They're both really beautiful colors. Um, then she sent me this one in Tango. It's a really pretty peachy coral color. And this one is bright. I love it. So pretty. Looks a little darker on camera, but it's really like bright in your face. Coral. Really pretty. And then this last one is really, really cool. Um, this one is called Tempt. And this is really dark, like purplish berry color. This would be this would probably really pretty in like the fall time. This is so dark. But I love it. There's that one there. So those are just beautiful. I can't wait to like get the rest of these if I can ever find them near me or order them online. 
And then she also sent me, I believe these are new from LA Colors, the gel polishes. And she sent me this one in Fierce. It's really pretty red color. She sent me this one in Socialite. It's a perfect pink color. She sent me this one in Risque. And then she sent me this one in Daring. It's a really pretty blue color. So thank you so much again, Tina. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to play with all of those. So the rest of the stuff I had ordered online, um, the first things I'm going to show you are from ColourPop. This is my first ever purchase from them. So for their, their one year of being around, I guess, the birthday, they were giving away this free eyeshadow with every purchase. I don't think they are anymore, um, but it's it's so cute. It's in this pink packaging, and it's called Birthday Girl, and it's just really pretty. Like, let me swatch it. These are these shadows are like so unique. Like I've never had anything like this. They're so pretty. So that was free with my order, but then I had ordered. Um, Three of their, sh three more of their shadows. This one is in Girl Crush. It's like this really nice um, gray, like taupey color. I love this color. Can't wait to play around with this one too. Right there. Then I picked up this next one is in Partridge, and this one's a really cool color too. It looks green on camera but it's like, it's so much more than that. It's like this really cool, like, green, brown, like, duochrome color. It's really unique, and I really love it. So, again, that was Partridge. And then this last shadow I picked up is in I Heart This. It looks like this. Right the bottom. Then I just picked up one of their blushes because this one really intrigued me. This one is called Rain and it's purple. So pretty though. And like I've tried wearing this before and I don't think I'm using like the right kind of brush because I couldn't really get it as pigmented on my cheeks as I wanted it to be. So I have to play around with like different blushes. Like even swatching it, it's kind of like just, I don't know. I, I'm not too, like I have to keep going over top of it. It's a really pretty color, but I still can like barely see it. But I'm going to keep playing around with it because I really do love the color. I also picked up three of their lippy sticks. One I'm wearing right now. And this was, this one is in Tootsie and this is matte looks like this like I said I'm wearing it right now I'll, I'll show you a swatch also if you would like and this is also one of those colors that I, one of those kind of colors I've been loving like those nudie like dark brownish nudie colors but it's got like almost a purplish kind of tinge to it if you can even tell on camera it's really pretty I love it so that's Tootsie and I also picked up this one in Corset, and this one is Hyper Glossy. Looks like this. So pretty. And these smell so good. Did I just get that on my nose? These smell so good. I love the way these smell. And this one isn't the exact color as it shows you on the bottom. Like that looks like a like a pastel pink. Or not pink. A really pastel purple color and that's how it swatches like you can even tell in the tube that they're like two different colors but I really love the color that it swatches I'm actually I actually like that better than the color that it shows so win and then this last one is called fern and this is a cream looks like this I've been really loving like the purple shades too lately. 
Like, all the colors that I never would have worn, like, first starting out with makeup, that I always steered cleared of, that I never, like, really liked, I love now. It's, it's so weird. Anyway, there's, um, Fern? Yes, Fern. So I can't wait to get more of these lippy sticks, because these are just, they're so convenient, they're so easy to apply, like, I love that they're in, like, a pencil form. So that is it from ColourPop. I placed an order with HSN because Nuvo Cheap on Instagram posted, I think it was a code, I ordered this stuff so long ago I can't even remember what the code was for, I think it was um, $20 off of a $40 purchase, I'm pretty sure is what it was. So I went ahead and finally picked up the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar and they had the deal on there where you could get this and the Too Faced Better Than Sex um, mascara sample, I guess it is, or deluxe sample. And to be honest, I am not a huge fan of this mascara. I've tried it a few times and I really don't see what is so great about it. I mean, I don't know if it's just my eyelashes or, or what, but anyway, I'm really loving the, the semi-sweet chocolate palette. I'm sure you guys have all seen it by now because I'm late jumping on the bandwagon with this. Like I said, I hate paying full price for stuff, so I got this for like 29 bucks or 20 bucks. can't remember, but it was like, you know, almost half off, so it smells awesome. So I was really excited to add that to my collection along with my original chocolate bar palette. So that was it from HSN. I placed an order with ELF a few days ago because Nouveau Cheap once again had posted a um, promo code for them that was for free shipping and it was no minimum, you know, amounts. You could get, you know, buy a dollar item and still get free shipping. So, um, she also had posted about the, their new ambient face palette, which was the whole reason I made that, like, purchase. I had ordered that along with this, um... Their new Mad for Matte palette, and this I'm really happy with. But I was so upset because I had gotten this in the mail, and this was all they had sent me. And I was like, "What?" And I looked on like my shipping thing or whatever, and they left a little note saying they were sold out of the Ambient Face palette, and that I would be refunded for my purchase, and I could reorder it when it was back in stock. Which really upset me because it was not out of stock when I ordered it. Like it went through. Like, there's no reason why. If you were out of stock, it should have said out of stock on the website. Anyway, but at that, at that moment, at that point in time, I had checked my bank account and they still haven't, they didn't refund me for what I had spent on that palette. I was still charged the full price for this palette and the other one. So I had emailed them and they ended up refunding my total amount which was, you know, fine, but the whole reason I made this purchase is because of the free shipping code that will probably be expired by the time they, you know, bring that palette back in stock. I'll still order from them. I mean, it didn't, you know, make me hate them or anything. They, I still love their products. I'll still reorder it when it comes back in stock. I was just really looking forward to, you know, playing around with that and ended up not getting it in the mail. It just upset me a little bit. But anyway, back to this Mad for Matte palette. This is really nice, like it's really pigmented, they're matte as can be, sorry if I'm blinding you with the freaking mirror, but, <laughs> so I'm really excited to play around with this, I'll do a couple swatches of this here too, just a couple swatches, of course I picked the lightest shades, you probably barely see them, but they're, they're really nice and pigmented and really, um, really nice colors. I can't wait to play around with that. A few more things. Last three products that I purchased online were from a website called All Cosmetics Wholesale. And I ordered two of the LA Girl Matte. I picked up this one in Rebel. It's really pretty, like, purpley color. And I will swatch it. And I can't wait to pick up more of these two because I'm very impressed with these two that I picked up. So that's Rebel. And then this one is awesome. This is called Instinct. And it's this really bright, like, orangey red. I 
And this one's awesome. I have worn this one and I do like it a lot. There's Instinct. Rebel, Rebel and Instinct. And then I also picked up one of the LA Splash Lip Couture Liquid Lipsticks. And this is in Ghoulish because I have been dying to get Cashmere from Lime Crime. Oh, I love this color so much. Like, I want to go buy, like, 12 more of it just so I have plenty of it. There it is right there, anyway. But apparently they have... I think this is the new ghoulish because they also have an OG ghoulish which is I guess the original one so I might pick up that one too because I think it is just a tad different but anyway I'm really loving this um I've wanted this color for so long and I'm so glad I finally have it so there it is I do have one thing from five below I want to show you because it is adorable um it's this hat like, how pretty is that this is only five dollars at five below it's just so beautiful. It says dream. I just thought it would look really good with my hair color too. Is that weird? I, I just thought it was so cute. So I had to pick that up. The rest of these things I have are from Dollar Tree. First I'll show you this little bag. It's like this little um, beach, like mesh beach bag. I just thought that was adorable. So I picked that up. I believe they had it in green and like purple also. But pink is my favorite color. So you know I had to get the pink one. I also picked up two of these leopard print hats because they are adorable for a dollar. I just thought they would be so cute and they're really lightweight. So I thought they would be nice to wear like in the summertime or whenever. So I just picked up the pink and the purple and they also had a blue one. But you know, you know me. Okay. Then I had also found, when I found these, I haven't heard, I hadn't heard about anyone else finding them. I just happened upon them and I was like, oh, what? So I grabbed all that they had, which was only four boxes, but it's these Kiss Ever Easy Lashes and there's two sets in there. And I just thought they were so pretty because they're nice and natural looking. They also had like some crazy dramatic ones that were only in one packs, but I grabbed all the two packs that they had. Um, the number for this, I guess, would be, I'll just show you the top there but I mean two sets of lashes for a dollar kiss lashes that's awesome so like I said they only had four packs so I grabbed all four of them I'm still trying to you know play around with lashes to learn how to do that better and everything but I'm getting the hang of it I also picked up this as you can see I've been loving it I use a lot of it um this is the meringue um, perfume from Dollar Tree, and this is supposed to be a dupe for Paris Hilton Can Can. And it smells so good. It smells pretty. I, I, I've only smelled Can Can once or twice, and I'm I'm pretty sure this smells just like it, if not better. I mean, and for a dollar, it, it's awesome. I love it. So I picked that up. Also picked up. I I don't think I showed you guys these yet, and I'm sorry if I have, but I will show you them again. I believe these colors are new to the Dollar Tree. Um, they're the LA Colors nail polishes. This one is in Dimple. So it's really pretty, like neon orange. And this next one is in Speckled. And it's just like this white and blue and green and like orange and pink, like like hexagon glitter and like really small pieces of glitter also. Okay, this next one is in Spring Flirt and this is really pretty like pale blue with purple and pink and blue um, glitter in it. So I thought that one was really cute too. Then I found finally all of the new LA Colors lip balms. I picked up every color because I have no self-control, but I had to. I mean, these are awesome. So, picked up this one in Swoon, and this is like a nude shade. Not sure if you'll even be able to see it on on here, but it's like. Looks almost white, like con looks like a concealer nude color. I kind of like it. So that's Swoon. 
Then I picked up this one is in Smooch. And this is really pretty pink color. And I think these two, these first two here that I'm swatching, are the most pigmented out of all of them. So there's, there is Swoon. Okay, and this next one is another pink, and this is called Zap. Really cute packaging. I love the names, too. Really cute. that one. And these ones have a lot more color payoff than the um, Perfusion ones. I, I don't think they have really any color payoff. So I kind of wish I didn't even get those and just got these instead. But what can you do? I mean, at least I only paid a dollar for them. And this next one is in Wham. And it's like this orangey color. There that one is. And this next one is a red, and this is called Boom. There's that one. And this last one is called Kapow, and it's this purple color. This one has pretty good pigmentation, too. right here. So that is everything guys. That is everything I've accumulated beauty wise within the past you know month or so. Um, like I said I'm sorry for have, having been MIA for a little while um, but I'm back and I'm excited to put out more videos for you guys. Hopefully you are still subscribed and still you know watching and um, I miss you guys like I said. I'm glad to be back and I will see you in my next video which will hopefully be very soon. Bye guys.